Hello to everyone. Thank you for joining me. My name's DeMortem, and welcome to Common Sense and Chaos. What's up, everybody? Thank you again for joining me on another Baldur's Gate. So, a few things have come to light, so to speak. First, Larian Studios has a new update, which, since this is recorded just prior to that, means that by the time we get back to the game, everything we know about, all these people, all these areas, all of it, will have changed. And as a result, our saves will no longer be any good. So, since that's going to be the case, I will attempt to get back to wherever we end and see if I can keep things relatively the same. Now, there really is only two ways to do that. Saves coming or massive hope. And although the former was something that we don't do in this game, I'm beginning to think it's better than the latter. I will try to see if I can get back to wherever we end this one, but I am going to make this an extra long episode just so that we can try to see how far we can get. We are... My intent is to go after Halston, but we have these people here to have to deal with. And I want to find out what they're about. Something's wrong. So, without any further ado, let's get into this. Let's take you, Asterian, and I think you need to hide somewhere. No, no, Asterian. Thank you. I think you need to hide somewhere. Um, yeah, you're not going to be able to hide to there, so let's try to... No. Nope. All right, a little further up the rock. Just in case this turns out ugly. Because what I noticed was it said You're going to be all right. a member of You're the Absolute. A soul. You can't die. Please stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. A Why? What did I do? glows marked on their flesh. And something within you stirs in response. Hmm. His wounds look deep. I might be able to help. Oh, hey. Alright. Nope. Really? I got higher roll chances than that. Come on. Your sword. Wait. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming churns in your head. Uh, no, I don't want you messing around in my head. Useless. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenner. New recruits. Yours to Shepard. Protect them. Mm. He... He's a true soul. Mind him. He will... He... Edwin! Ed! Please! He's with the Absolute now. You're... You're a true soul. Edwin, our brother, he was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. Hmm. Why are you here? We were looking for fugitives. Survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. But instead of them, Edwin found an oil bear. An angry one. We managed to drag him away, but the beast's claws had already done their work. I told Edwin not to look in that cave. It was filthy with oil bear tracks. Hmm. 
Let's see. <clears throat> These fugitives, tell me more. We don't know what they look like, but anyone who survived that crash is bound to be injured. That's enough to get us started. The Absolute wants them found. At any cost. Of course they do. What? Are you... Are you testing us? The Absolute is our goddess. She's going to rip down the old world order, start a new one. Then we'll be the ones with the power. Well, you will firstly, true soul. You don't need me to explain that. A true soul, like you, has been chosen by the Absolute. You speak with her voice, and when the time comes, the true souls, you, will rule. That fellow had a tadpole in his head, and they consider him blessed? Chosen? What madness is this? Obviously, whatever they had created. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm a survivor of that crash. Looks like you found me. Let's see what happens. You! Uh, Brenna! Kill him! Oh! Thought you were supposed to find us, not necessarily kill us. Alright. Well, I don't like being killed, so... Surprise! Alright, well, let's get in here and try and wreck some face. What do you say? I'm so sorry. I have to hit you now. Interesting. Alright, Gale. Let's, uh, magic missile. Let's see. Put one to him, and we'll put the other two to her. They spoke of the nice. absolute. Same as that goblin, Sazar. Curious. Seems as though the absolute's attracting followers from all kinds of places. Yeah, I would say so. Let's see, what do they got? Bless and a mace. Alright. Alright. Fighter Mage. Interesting. Let's hear what he asked. The to corpse say. regards you lifelessly. Interesting. What do you know about the weapon? From the sky taken by infidels. Okay. You know Do not fight her power such power. Well, I should have figured that one. <clears throat> Sister, brother, my job to protect them. So the you sold them out. Wanes. You know, I searched that ship completely. I never saw a weapon. Okay. The man oh. is dead, but something shifts beneath his features. A glistening tadpole emerges, slithering up past a sightless eyeball. The same as the creature 
behind your eye. Yeah. Um, One squeeze let's should crush do it. it. But you stop short. How could you think of harming something so beautiful, so pure? Pretty simple, actually. Uh, with strength. Yeah. All right, squ let's squish it. Plops to the ground. What? Now is your chance to stomp it into the dirt. But it's too precious, too sweet, isn't it? No, it's not. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go back to strength. Seriously? Okay, this thing's not getting away. You can't do it. You couldn't possibly. It slithers away and vanishes into the undergrowth. Safe. Free. No, it does not. Where is that thing? Gale, kill that thing. Thank you. That is not going to go out in the world. Huh. It doesn't seem I can really interact with it. Maybe I can examine it? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's dead now. That's one less. Let's hear what she has to say. This so-called true soul carried a tadpole. Their absolute is no god. It is a geich deception sown by the parasites devouring their minds. That such a thing lives inside me is unbearable. Hmm. Well, my god speaks to me. Far be it from me to question your god's truthfulness. The voice these people hear is real. Its words are a fraud. Shared delusion is not a conventional symptom. The mind flayers have a plan for these true souls. Which means they've a plan for us. I agree with Lizelle wholeheartedly. Something about this just doesn't sit right. So... I think what we're going to do is we're just going to continue on and try and see what we can find around here. But again, I don't remember or recall anything about on that ship as a specially a special weapon. We found regular weapons even in the process. Let's see. We could go see Zevlor. Um, but I do think I want to head towards the goblin camp. I definitely want to make it to the Gaith Yankee and see if we can rid ourselves of this parasite. I have a feeling that that's actually not going to be an ending in a good way. Not only is Lizelle hiding something, and we know that from our previous discussions, but Gaith Yankee don't tend to open up to strangers, even when they have one of their own. It looks healthy, but it's stone dead. Interesting. What do we have here? The pig's dead, my friend. Staring at it won't bring it back. Come on. We'll never fix these brain worms if we stop and gawk at every piece of carrion you find. Yeah, I still think I'm gonna look. The boar seems to be fresh, only a few hours dead. But you can't find any sign of a wound. Interesting. See? Nothing. Come on, we're wasting our time. Awful defensive about a pig, aren't you? Hmm. Now, again, my understanding about 5e is that it doesn't lower your chances on a roll 
there are things that do that, that lower the DC, but as far as I understand it, you're supposed to add to your rolls. So if I actually rolled a two, I would have a plus to my, to that roll. Oh, great. Now we hit entangled vines. Everybody else get back. Gail, would you be kind enough to set this on fire? Thank you. So I don't know how Larian Studios is figuring this. I don't know where within 5e it makes sense. I have read up on the rules a little bit more. But DCs are something that are proposed by the DM. What your target is. Oh great, there's another set. How about we just not? <clears throat> All right, everybody back. So, to get a roll of a 2 on medicine, where medicine is one of the things I chose, I find that very hard to believe. I don't think they fully implemented the system yet, but I would love to find out why. It is early access that could be one of the situations, but again, I'm not so sure that's the case. But let's head down here and see what we can find. Looks like there's nothing in this area. Hmm. We do have a pod here, however. Interesting. Another pod from the ship. Oh, smells like rotten eggs. Okay. Imagine that's a clue to something, but I don't know what. Doesn't look like we can go any further that way. And we definitely can't jump across, so... Looks like we'll head back. Nothing here. Oh, we have a coffin. That's interesting. Ooh, boots. What else? Is there something else there? Hmm. A spoon. Another spoon. And a cup. Well, I don't think we need to investigate a cup. That's for sure. But I would like to get across. I think this is our only path. I'm going to double check. Yeah, this is our only way. Alright, Asterion. Let's see if we can get you to jump without getting too hurt in this. Three points of damage, that's not bad. Hopefully, running water won't be too much of an issue. I do find it interesting that he's harmed by water. Owlbear tracks. It's nest yeah. must be nearby. Yeah, we're not we're not doing that. I can truly say in D and D I've never met a nice owl bear under any circumstances. Of course, I've also not played a druid, but I will say even as a ranger, owl bears don't tend to be the most polite of animals out there, so I don't think we're gonna jump into that. Tell me, Lazo, when you say we might be purified at your crash, what does that mean exactly? A caretaker will affix the Zaysk, the purifier, to our heads. Its magic will quell the parasite in an instant. Sounds hopeful. What do we have here? Ooh, mushroom. Okay. 
Alright. Why did one of those heal us and one of them didn't? That's odd. Alright, do I have to speak with animals? No. Gale, do you? Uh, let's see. Charm, hold. Uh, there it is. Animal friendship. Alright, well I have two of the scrolls, so... As long as we have actually dedicated that to memory... Which it's right here. Interesting. I'm gonna double check my spell list real quick. Yeah. Make sure that he actually has it. I don't want to lose a scroll that he can learn something from. Hmm. Blush Camp Mushroom. Okay. Let's see. I can't seem to scribe this spell, so... Let's take a look in our spell list and see what we've got. Yeah, yeah, we have it. Yep. All right. <clears throat> so, let's use the scroll. Awesome. Let's give him a conversation. Wait a minute. We're not talking to him? Okay, well. Alright. How about we... Let's, let's show him we're not bad guys. All right. Awesome. The dog lowers his hackles, his head tilted inquisitively. Convinced that you're harmless, he turns his attention back to the corpse. Oh, man. Around his neck is a collar etched with a name. Scratch. Interesting. With a deep heart. I'm sorry, buddy. Wine, the dog bows his head. He's gone. The dog whimpers nervously, as if to urge you on. And of course we're gonna pet the dog. The dog looks at his owner with sad eyes. He does not move. Hmm. You can't heal him, buddy. The dog sniffs your hand, his tail swung low in understanding. He knows how to find you. Well, that was odd, and maybe we can get him to talk to him, since he's, the, he's the one with the spell. The corpse, a quiet whine escaping with every breath. The dog whimpers nervously, as if to urge you on. The dog looks at his owner with sad eyes. He does not move. The dog sniffs your hand, his tail swung low in understanding. He knows how to find you. Well, it seems odd that we cast the spell, and yet we can't talk to him. But maybe that's part of the interaction with him. Kind of like speak with the dead doesn't work with every dead. So. Oh, but we can now look at the corpse. Leather boots, gold. Personal note. Hmm. Okay. Well, somewhere in Baldur's Gate, there's a boy named Danver. Interesting. I wonder if that's related to the Harpies area, where we found that note saying that <clears throat> he wouldn't be back, that he had joined a different group. In any direction, I think we'll keep those things.
Now we've already been there. So I think we'll go back and we'll try to see if there's a way up. Maybe around? That Zathisk you mentioned intrigues me. Care to tell me a bit more? An intricate device crafted by Millar, our most gifted artisans. I am sworn to say no more. Oh, look who's here. A failed warrior. He's hurt. Thought you was busy with the lads in Elson's Grove. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you might be busy with your own crew. Not no more. The contract didn't mention no goblins. I would have prepped the lads, brought better weapons. Hmm. A few goblins killed your coal crew. Don't know what I expected. That much gold for some long lost relic buried in the arse end of nowhere. And from a wizard, too. I should have known. And the gold probably turns to lead the moment you leave Baldur's Gate. Stupid thing to die for. Hmm. Well, let's see. If you're giving up, I might take a shot myself. Have at it. If you think you can do better. It's called the Night Song. Supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. I'd give you a map of the temple and wish you a happy funeral. But my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own sodger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. All I've got's the contract. Can show you where we turn back. If you feel like dying. Before you go, I'd well, like to say a prayer a for prayer. your men. Just that they be judged correctly. The lads would hate more than a judge waiting for them up there. Look, we're getting out of here. You should do the same. Come on. Well, that's a shame. All right. Well, corpse looting. I'll take all that. It's ooh barrel. Yeah, Asterion gets hurt by running water. Doesn't want to talk about a dead boar. There's a pod that smells like rotten eggs. Ooh, agate. I wonder... He's got some deep secrets, I think. I'll take the dagger, but I don't want either of those. Dagger. And more cutlery. No, thank you. I'll take the plates. They're worth money. Interesting. A knife, <laughs> a knife and a fork are worth more than the. <laughs> All right. All right. What have we got here? The tiefling. Chicken, garlic, and gold. We'll take that. What is it I saw? Oh. Oh, okay. It must be that there are people beyond here. I think we'll try to look around, see if we can find another way in. Oh, there's vines. Let's try that. Tell me, Lazel, what is it like on the astral plane? Your home realm intrigues me. We have a sleeping bugbear, it looks like. I will only be welcomed once I obtain a mind flayer's head. I think we're going to be very sneaky about this. Yeah, quiet Lizelle. We're being super sneaky. Now, one thing I noticed is if your whole party is sneaking, they'll group up, group up with you. But if 
one is not, they won't. Let's keep this guy sleeping. Oh, yeah. Nat 20. Oh. Thank you. Yep. Thank you very much. And thank you. What else have we got here? Looks like rum and wine. We'll take those. All right, let's send these to camp. Ugh. There better be a soft bedroll in my near future. Are you really complaining? Why would you want a soft bedroll? Interesting. Okay, those must be the three leaders. Well, let's put this in here because we're going to keep that, but let's also find a place for all the weapons and stuff to go. Now again, Larian hasn't has yet to fix the problem with the backpacks where they cycle. So it, this gets interesting when you get down below the f first five rows where it just cycles and you constantly have to wheel scroll to find an empty slot. And it automatically goes back up. Armor of Agathis will give to Gale. Along with the skull. I don't think we need it. Mushroom. Put the weapons in here for now. Grease can go there. Mage armor can go back over here. Bless, I, I will keep. And let's put all these bottles. I'm not really sure what they do, but... <clears throat> it would be worth a time to maybe explore that option. And here's where we're going to have to start scrolling. Yep, see? It jumps automatically down. Now it'll hold the next row until I put something else in there. Sorry, folks, just doing a little inventory management. It is, after all, part of the game, and to be honest with you, is a big part of the game. I don't think we need that, but we'll keep it just in case. Yep, there it goes again. like to know if the fishing pole is of any use. 
I haven't exactly seen a place where we could fish, but would be nice. All right. I think we look pretty good. Yeah, we should be able to continue on. Let's wander around. I do think we'll take one of these shovels. It is something that I don't have. And I think we'll give it to Kigar. Just because of the weight. I have a hammer. I have tongs. Nothing there. Can't seem to get up there. Can I get up there? Oh, yep, we do have somebody looking. More wine. Oh, we can get up here. Oh, looky there. All right, everybody to the back of the house. Let's see if we can set up a firing line. Lazel, would you be so kind as to take the opposite side? Thank you. And then you take the middle. And of course, Lazel will move. Oh, okay. Well, no time like the present. Let's see if we can get him to get advantage. Yeah. I think we'll start with Kigar, see how close we can get. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, no, I want the turn based. Okay, well, we'll just hit him. Shall we? Oh, very nice. Alright, so we have surprise on them. That's a good thing. That means our thief gets advantage. Oh, very nicely hit. Nope, he's going to be seen from there. And we can't hide again, so. And that one's done. And why don't we eject you? Awesome. <laughs> that was quick. All right, looks like we got two more. One right next to us and one somewhere else. I don't see, well, across the way. They're just coming into view. Yep, there's one right below us. And one right there. Okay. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Looks like a mage, too. That's disconcerting. All right, well, let's see if we can sneak inside the house and... Or we can fall prone and wait there. Okay, well, obviously I'm not gonna stand back up. Hmm. 
Let's try Frostbolt. Awesome. Okay, and Lizelle, will you be so kind as to shoot an arrow? We'll just do it regular. Now by 5E, if I was to take a rain shot at somebody who's prone on the ground, I actually have disadvantage on the shot. So, that's the reason I chose to shoot the other person. Doesn't look like that guy can get to us, so... We'll range out this shot again. Nice. Alright. And he got up. Should have taken half his movement. Gets a couple of steps. And that's it. Alright. Let's see if we can get in here. Can't seem to... Hide, but maybe we can just shoot him. No. Ah, there we go. Uh, hello? Uh, just... Okay. What? Hmm. Alright, shoot him. Wow. Okay. That appears to have glitched out badly. Ignis. Nice. Good job, Gale. And let's shoot him down. Awesome. All right. Let's see if we can see this other guy. Well, looks like he can see some things up through there, so... Oh. What are you doing back there? I thought I ran you inside the building. Can you shoot this guy now? Okay. <clears throat> That's not helping. Apparently, Asterion is glitched out. Let's try something else. Let's see if Lizelle can... Yep, looks like she could shoot him. Nice. And then we'll try... Asterion again? Hopefully not glitched out. Try a different part of the room. Alright, Gale. Let's see if a little fire will work. Nice. Critical hit. We'll bring Lizelle to try and finish him off. Nope. That's okay. Alright, Keygar's up. Let's see if we can do something. I don't know what's happening with Asterion, but apparently it's not anything I can control. He makes the sound on the initial base that he's going to fire, but he doesn't do anything. So, looks like we've got three versus one for the moment. Gale can't do anything there. Maybe. Ignis. And that was wrong target. Alright, let's see if we can shoot him down. Nat 20. Awesome. <laughs> Alright. Well... It's two very quick battles in succession, so 
I'm not upset at that. I could be, but I'm not. All right, Asterion, you can come back with us now, hopefully. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's do some looting. Ooh, arrow of fire and gold. I'll take that. Let's get back down here. Really? You didn't just walk around and go to the boxes like every other member of the party? You just went prone? Okay, well, we'll call that user error. Let's see what we got here. Arrow of fire. A bow and gold. I'll take that. Sleep. Uh, I think we'll... S no, ew. Okay, we're gonna stay away from a few things. I don't need the mage staffs. They're really only worth 10 gold, and by the time I actually sell them, it's like one. <clears throat> and since this cop game doesn't seem to deal in copper. Oh, what have we got here? Asterion, could you open this? Thank you. Alright. Well, we're in a basement of some sort. Let's see what's around here. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. We'll give that to Asterion. And that to Asterion. That way he has a length of rope. Oh, that'll make you happy. Nothing. Well, it looks like we're doing some looting here. Pleasurable deal. The shocking truth. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, we're talking about warlocks and how they get their power. Although it's written in some sort of a play. Like the author is Q&Aing a... interviewing a, uh... person who... came up with a play about warlocks. Interesting. Well, you can take a read of that if you'd like. I am going to pick it up. A broom? No, thank you. Rope. We'll take that. Ah, gold. All right. Uh, just look at these real quick. Nothing I seemingly want. Wine, wine, and rum. None of those are really worth that much. No. 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 Ah, uh, the gift of mini boxes. Alright, well, we'll take that and the disarm kit. There is, without a doubt, a lot of looting here. I'm going to light these torches just in case. I don't know whether that locked it or unlocked it, but... Oh, what have we...
we got here? All right. Oh, we'll take that. And that. Can we use the anvil? True up an axe? Nope. Okay. Well, so be it. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Shears that I don't need. Tongs I don't need. Yeah, they're only worth one gold even at that, so... All right. There you go, Asterion. I don't know why you would have a character run all over the place for something that they can't find, but... Alright. Oh, we'll take that. And we'll leave those. Okay. Workbench. Can we do something with it? Nope. Alright. And I don't know how to use it anyway, so that works. Arrow of fire. Here comes the scroll party. Which bolt can go there, shocking grasp, ray of sickness, and sleep. So I thought we had more than one sleep, but I guess not. Alright, now it appears that Asterion is overweight. So we'll have to figure something out. Can learn that for 50. Learn that one for 50. I think we'll learn that one for 100. That works. Alright. Let's try to make him less overweight. These things don't really weigh that much. So I don't know what is weighing him down the most. It must be 
It must be the kits. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's see if we can go through the door. Great. And more looty goodness. Another broom. More stuff I don't need. The approachable east. Hmm. Something oh, interesting. someone's journal talking about what they've gone through. Teapot. Tea set. Nothing in the cabinet. Nothing there. Oh, hand axe and a dagger. We'll take both of those. War pick. Interesting. Hammer and thieves tools. We'll take that. What we got here. Okay. So that hurt a lot. Blueprint. Let's see, it gives you a specific weapon blueprint for either a dagger, a great sword, or a short sword. Weapon or a sickle. Interesting. They call for Susabok. If only I knew where to find some. Yeah, I don't know what Susa Bark is. Maybe it's something coming. Let's put this stuff away. Well, I thought that would be worth more, but apparently the glass chalice was only worth one. I think that'll work. Wheelbarrow. Chair. something over there. Interesting. Okay, well, we have a cracked wall. Is it an invisible wall or just a cracked wall? Hmm. It says it's vulnerable. And that did nothing. Really? We can't attack a wall? I mean, that's kind of pathetic. That did nothing. Hmm. I wonder if we have to interact with something else. Let's cure everybody. There we go. Alright, everybody's better. Alright, Kigar. Let's see what you got. Let's try blowing up the wall. And Gale, if you would be so kind. Really? It did nothing? Oh. Good lord. 
All right, well, that didn't work. There's a torch. Maybe something with the bellows? All right, we lit the fire. Okay, we'll take those. And we'll take that. And that. Okay. Long sword. Maul. Got another battle axe. And a great sword. Another workbench. Can't seem to do anything there. Yep. All right, well, we'll give that away. Don't need the hammer. Is she rocking right now? Okay, she's got our great axe for the time being. At least until we're at a level where we can use it. So maybe we have to do something else. Like to pass through that wall. Maybe get this nice and hot. hit it? Nope. Can we push it? Nope. <clears throat> Can't seem to jump through it or past it. Interesting. So how do we get past this little puzzle? Bear with me, guys. I'm just trying to figure this one out. Oh, we can't use that. Don't know why that wheelbarrow is too heavy for me, but apparently it is. I wonder if we can... Grab some boxes. Maybe stand on them. And we can't jump in there. That's too small. Hmm. Let's go grab some more.
All right, come on. Get out the doorway. All right, let's see if we can climb on these. All right. <clears throat> Go right there, right there. Ah, now we can jump. Or teleport. <laughs> Doesn't look like we can do anything. Still can't attack. And we can't jump any higher. Hmm. Oh. Oh, that'll fit there. Okay. Well, maybe... Can we jump through now? No. Can we attack now? No. Alright. Well, let's... Nope. No. Hmm. Let's try something different. Let's see if we put this up top. Oh, you were just there. Come on. Oh. Yeah. Maybe that will do it. Ignis. Nope. All right, let's try Thunder Wave. <clears throat> Everybody get back. All right, Gale. Let's see if your magic can get through this. There it is. All right. And we lit ourselves on fire. Now can we jump through? Yes. All right. And we'll light ourselves on fire. But we're in. Better be careful. Those webs carry vibrations. Oh. Okay. And a dead end. Although it looks like we can climb down there. All right, Gail, your turn. Nice. Whispering depths, huh? And she's lit on fire. There we go. Awesome. All right, our whole party has made it beyond the wall. Pizza, 
There are some extra hit points. And you know what? I think... I think we'll actually save this heal. I don't think we need to do it to Gale. I think we have enough potions that... We don't have to worry about it. I mean, he is low. But he's not that low. Alright, let's see if we can scoot across this without making vibrations. Something is down there. Don't want to get Asterion too far away from everybody, but I do want to see what's down here. Hmm. Okay, well, let's get everybody else down that way. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Okay, well... Uh, let's finish getting Gale down there. back and let's cure our poison problem let's try to sacred flame him all right one damage and we'll use one of these that'll stop that from happening Alright, uh, Kigar, go ahead and end your turn. Wait a minute, he was supposed to go. That's odd. There he is, alright. Gale gets to go. Armor up a little. And then I guess we'll just try to hide, which we can't. Ouch. Oh, great. Phase spider. Alright, we'll move back. Or hopefully it can't spit poison at us. We'll try and shoot this Edder Cap. Nice job. We've got another Edder Cap. Great. He's in webbed. So, no fire. Maybe we can shoot that web so that Phase Spider can't keep jumping there. That works. All right, Gale. Nope, can't hide. And now it's on a cliff, where it can, of course, poison Gale more. Great. All right, let's keep you going, Gale. Thank you. Thank you. And that'll end our turn. Oh, Asterion finally gets to go. Yay. All right. Let's disengage from this. There it is. Let's get back as far as we possibly can. And then 
we'll try to get her across. Come on, Lazelle. Awesome. Okay. Alright, Gale. Let's try to get you out of here. Oh, that was bad. I should have known that. That was a rookie mistake. Let's try to firebolt him. Awesome. And here comes the phase spider. To hit Gale yet again. Nice. But it made it saving throw. And let's rally... Now let's rally Gale. <clears throat> he needs more help. Here you again, Gale. And then we'll go forward. All right, now we're in combat. So, Asterion should have advantage on this. Nice. Alright, he burnt to death. That's one. Alright. Oh, made it saving throw. And now it's behind us. Alright, let's see if we can get her into battle. Good hit. Trying to secret flame. Nope. Get Asterion back. Shoot him. Nice. Good shot. And we're webbed. Let's drop this spider. Nice. All right. So far, so good. Took a couple of points of damage, and now it has to warp back. And, of course, it would go for them. Looks like she missed. Oh, very nice. All right. One more to go. I think that's as far as we can go. Yeah. I think we'll save second wind. I will go ahead and use it. <clears throat> that way we get some of our hit points back. And of course we missed.
Let's get into melee. And then we'll try shooting this thing again. Nice. Nicely done. Gale's turn. Let's see if we can light this thing on fire. Or try and trip it up. Yep. We got it. Alright, now it's prone. Let's get out of this poison. And of course it disappears. Alright, let's see if we can bring it back down to us. Jump back here. And then we'll try to have him hide. Alright, and then we'll have Gale hide. And there it is again. And off to Gale again. Alright. And then shoot it in the face. Oh. Alright. Swing it. Oh. And we missed. Alright, Asterion. It's all you. Nice. All right, well, that sucked quite a bit, but at least we're alive-ish. I mean, we're all dying. Let's try to heal everybody we can. There we go. We'll use a big one. Yeah. Alright, let's see what he's got. Nothing. Nothing here. Alright, let's check out this tunnel, shall we? Phase spider egg. Just a bone. Goblin with gold and a scimitar. We'll take those. What have we got here? Rock to climb down. What's over there? Yeah, I don't think so. Not yet. Alright, there's apparently another bad guy out there. Don't... oh! Just saw him. Okay, well, back the way we came, guys. Nothing. Nothing. All right. All right. What's this way? Nothing. Nothing. 
Well, that answered that question. Whole lot of nothing. Hmm. Nope. No. No. It's a very cool waterfall. Doesn't look like we can do anything with it, though. Alright. What's over here? Oh, oh. We've got a great sword and a shield. I don't know why those t short sword. All right, we'll take all that. That appears to be something we can use. Maybe we can get out of there. But again, I don't know why you would have a great sword and a studded shield. The you can't use the two together, but Oh well, loot table is what a loot table is. Let's see about sneaking everybody and trying to sneak up on this thing. I would prefer not to have a phase spider at my back. Oh, we have another body. More gold and a bone. Oh. Everybody stay back. No, 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 no. Well, it's too late now. All right. Let's. No, we're not going to be able to hit him there. Let's start with Gale, then. Alright, Gale. Let's see if you can get rid of those webs that are in our way. Nope, fire. Yeah, it's not going to go through. So, let's get rid of the web instead. Awesome. And then we'll jump you to the side and hopefully get you to hide. Perfect. Oh, good. He missed. And now he's up there. Alright, Lazelle, would you be so kind as to make your way up that way? Hide right there. And then we'll have Gale go back here and hide. And of course, you land right next to the thief. <clears throat> and Gale. Great. Ooh, ooh. All right, well, let's get out of the poison and shoot him with extreme prejudice. And we missed. All right, Lazelle, would you be so kind as to hit this thing? Nat 20. Nice. Thank you. <clears throat> awesome. Knock it prone. Gale's up. Let's see if it would appreciate a fire boot. Now it's on fire. And of course it poisoned our thief again. Try to make him live a little longer. And 
we'll hide Kigar and hide Lazelle and hide Gale and see what happens. All right. We'll just stay here. Hope it comes back. Nope. All right, let's see if we can sneak up and shoot it. We should have advantage. Okay. Nice. Good hit. That's all we can do. And almost, almost. Stay there for one more shot. There we are. All right, way to go, crew. Admittedly, it seemed a little cheesy, but I'm more thrilled about the fact that it actually worked. I was not actually anticipating that to work that well. <clears throat> All right, let's look around. Another spider egg. I'm so tired. How do people do this all day? What do you mean people do this all day? What are you exhausted? Nothing there. Nothing there. Let's try going across. Ooh, thank you. And yep, we'll take that. Oh, and we're in webbed again. Of course. And we're in webbed again. Come on, right over here where I'm wiggling my finger. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. All right, we'll use jump. I don't know why, but we'll use jump. Maybe there's something up here. Oh, this leads us to the back side. Okay. All right. So this is higher up on the back side of that, I guess, lower level that we found. It's essentially a basement. Interesting. Nothing here. That's where we came from. Let's try to see if we can get back the way we came. And we're in webbed again. Let's get these guys to safety. And Kigar can join us when he can. Oh, now we're webbed. Uh. 
if we can make it to the rocks, we can get down. Awesome. There's three of us. Oh, what have we got? Um, what is this? <clears throat> All right, well, it looks like it's over here, whatever it is. I think we're going to avoid that. Oh, oh, there it is. All right, another phase spider. Definitely going to avoid that. <clears throat> what else is there? Oh, oh, okay. Let's get everybody over here. Nice. Alright, there's three, there's four. Awesome. What have we got? Water. Torch. Another torch. Ooh. Oh, heck yeah. I like that, not being able to be webbed. Let's add some light. And start our looting. Nope. No. What's that? Hmm. Alright, nothing there. Take those. That. All right, nothing else. More water. Nothing. Chatter already, Tusky. Uh, nope. Didn't want to talk to you. What have we got here? Nothing. All right. I think we're going to hold off on the chest for a second. Journal. In her form, spell is not enough. Oh, somebody didn't like who they were and they wanted to become a follower of Lolth. Interesting. Oh, so she was a slave in Menzo Bronson. Okay. Hmm. All right. And instead, she thinks she's a better... Wow, somebody's delusional. <clears throat> a spider and an elf with the overlapping circles. A single transcendence. Okay, so somebody... Ooh, thank you. Somebody wasn't happy being a regular elf and is going to try and take over a house in Menzo Baranzon. I wish them luck. It never lasts long. And Loth is not someone who... How should we put this? She lives for chaos. But I remember that she... 
prefers order in her domain. So I cannot see her allowing anyone but a drow to be the head of any, any guild. <clears throat> yeah, you won't make it long with Lulth. Alright, heavy chest. Let's hope it doesn't blow up. Oh, good. All right. Oh, bloodstone. All right. And gold. And I think we're going to take the chest and send it back to camp. Yeah, we'll put that into there. Awesome. Okay, you can have the gold, and we can learn another spell. Oh, we need 100 gold for that, so I think, yeah, we'll learn Ray of Sickness. It won't leave us much gold, but I think we'll find plenty. Um, yeah. It's a good offensive spell. It has a chance to poison, but it's not as great as I would say, like... I need a hundred gold to learn that. Hold person. Armor of Agathis I already know. Mage armor I know. Burning hands. Yeah. And... Well, we can do charm. We will have plenty. Oh, nope. Yeah, we will have plenty of gold from all, everything we've gotten so far. These, I think, we're going to give to Asterion. And then I think once we get all of this equipment in here, I think what I'm going to do is send the backpack back to the camp. So that we don't have to run around with it. But then we can sell off all the items. And again, that's, that's saying a lot. That's providing that Larian Studios doesn't instantly wipe the saves. But I have a feeling the way everyone's been talking about it, that's exactly what will happen. So, we may or may not be back. <clears throat> Alright, well, I have zero interest in going any further, and it doesn't look like there's anything else here, so... I think what we're going to do is we're going to attempt to get out of here and see if that rope on the and bucket is the way we can get out. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be anything else here. There is kind of an outcropping and I wonder if there's not a way down, but it doesn't look like it. There is something over there, though. So for now, I'll say we'll get out of this hole and see what else we can find. Okay, awesome, we're back in the Blighted Village. And we have a waypoint. And apparently a battle with this guy. Okay, well, uh, let's just go say hi. Aha! And whack! 
Nice. Good job, Kigar. And he gives it right back. <laughs> um, that's a little far. Let's just sneak out into the open and see if we can just end this guy. Yep. All done. Awesome. That was quick. Thank you, and thank you, and you can keep that. All right. And more plates and spoons and cups. <laughs> oh. What do we have? Bronze keg. Oh, we have another goblin down below. I think we're going to try and sneak around the other side, though. No, nothing there. Nothing there. Oh, we'll give that to G Asterion. And nope. <clears throat> I find it interesting how many people packed up their dishware. Well, again, more wine and... But it isn't worth a whole lot. Let's see what's in here. What have we got? Nothing there. So this is the house that we battled the single guy in. I remember seeing those webs on the floor. And nothing? And nothing. We'll take the dagger. That's worth at least three gold. Oh, we have some weapons. Okay. Please don't step on the webs. Take the bow. More shears. Torch. More tongs. And again, another anvil. Alright, let's see what's out back. <clears throat> oh, we've got something that just popped up. Let's see if we can go around. It looks like there's a cliff that we can go around here. And jump on the house. Maybe there'll be holes in the roof that we can shoot down from if there are any goblins. Yep, there appears to be a hole. What is that? What is that? Looks like we've got an ogre in there, and I can't tell what the other thing is. Alright, Gail. Get up there. Next. A bugbear? Fringe. Oh smash. no. Oh smash you. Oh no. That's all kinds of wrong. Okay. Well, I'm glad she missed with that rock. And we weren't actually in the house. Alright. Let's, uh... Yeah. Oh, out he comes. Alright, Gale. Make him fall. Nice. 
Good job. Oh, here comes Big Mama. Huh? <coughs> okay. Uh, yeah, can't really do anything with that. Can we shove it? Nope. All right. Let's see if we can sacred flamer. Nope. And I don't want to be on the ground where that thing is, so yeah, we're going to go over here. All right, Gale. Let's get you much further away. And we'll try to frost her. Nope. All right. No. Nope. All right. Um, let's see. Can we secret flame him? Nice. Okay, Lazelle. Nice. Alright, we got her frightened. That'll help immensely. And a surprise shot. Not really. Well, that's why she liked him. He was flexible. <laughs> I know that's all kinds of wrong. <laughs> Alright, let's do it again. Let's see if we can trip her up. Nope. Okay. And Gale can't hide. Oh. Sacred Flame again. Awesome. Means the next shot's with advantage on her. But she's also prone, which means it would be a straight roll. So we'll just wait this out. We'll see about shooting him, on the other hand. Oh, and we missed. All right. And he can't hide. All right, Gail, you're up. Light him up. Nice. Nope. Oh, and she's back up. Please don't tell me you can get up here. Oh, she missed with the rock again. Okay, that's good news. Let's try this again. Try a sacred flame again. Nope. All right, come on, Lazelle. <clears throat> All right, that did something. Asterion, now that you're hidden, let's try it again. Nice. All right. Oh, wow. Okay. You got close. Gale, let's see if we can light someone on fire. Nope. All right, get down here and hide. All 
All right, well, that's good news that she can't get up there. Let's try and kill her boyfriend now. Oh, nice. Oh, boy. Now she's mad. Here, you can you can have his body. All right. All right, Lizelle. Come on. Nice. Is it going to be a Sterian? No, we can't move that. All right. So we'll just shoot. All right. Nope, can't hide. All right, Gail. Yay. All right. That could have been brutally ugly. <clears throat> it was horrifying, actually, to say the least. Okay. Let's get everybody over here. Uh, okay. You guys need to move. There we go. All right. We got everybody back together again. Okay, let's search some bodies. Gold. God, I hope that wasn't the payment. And tongs. I don't even want to know what those were for. Alright. What have we got? Oh, we got a great sword here. Ooh. Nice. Oh, they had quite the little thing going on. A is for Azrith and other gods, too. Okay. Alright. Ooh, scale armor. And a leather helmet. What do you want? Well, what did you make of that? Uh, <clears throat> I want to scrub my eyes, frankly, and oh, my brain. Worse. Gnomes can be. <sighs> really? You went with gnomes over that? You have a weird sense of play, Asterian. All right. Well, let's see. <clears throat> Let's take a look at Lazelle's equipment. 15 plus 1 dax. Wear the helmet for sure. Sterian already has a dex bonus if I leave him in that. Yeah. Yeah, the leather armor is is better for him. Let's check out Lazelle. She's got 15 plus 1 in dex. Whereas we have minus 1 in dex. At least take a look at what it would look like. Alright, so that would put us at a 16. And that would put her at a 16. So... It's essentially the same. Yeah, she's at a 16 with that as well. And we're at a 16. So, they're essentially the same. I think we'll keep Kigar in the magic armor. 
And now we'll just add this stuff. This is tedious. I really hope the patch fixes this. Alright. Dagger. And we'll give the jade to him. And we'll give the agate to him. And... Nice. Okay. And nothing in that one. And that's got everything. So we'll send that to camp. Now we won't be over encumbered. And there we go. Awesome. Something on the bottom there. The realm according to Bumpo. Okay. <laughs> Feel free to read that if you want. <laughs> Alright. I think we've done pretty much everything we're going to do here. I think what we're going to do, folks, is we're going to camp. Asterion seems to be tired, and to be honest with you, we need to repair our people. And I'm hoping that if I'm at camp, it might actually save us a save. Maybe if we're in camp, it'll help. Oh, Lizelle wants to talk. A fine evening, don't you think? The moonlight shines warmly on us. The breeze caresses our faces. Hideous. All of it. <laughs> would that I were doing battle up there, among the tears. Among the tears? What do you mean by tears? Look above. Watch the moon cross the sky. The tears follow behind it. Rocky bodies tumbling through the sea of night. One of them is my crash. Clear. <laughs> Interesting. Do you think me so sheltered? My entire clutch battled beholders deep within the eye of the sky. We infiltrated a Niyogi spell jammer and laid waste to its crew. The tears span Toril's sky, Venisk. There is more to this realm than this grassy pebble. But enough of this. You are wasting your resting time. Come dawn, we resume our search for a crash. Wow, Lazelle was actually almost warm in that. Although I find it hilarious that she, you know, quickly turned it away by saying that she hated the night sky, as well as everything that was polite about it. But I do believe this is a good place to stop. Again, I'm going to see what I can do about getting us all the way back, if in fact it wipes our save. And if not, we may pick up with a different attitude and maybe a different action. In the meantime, thank you so very much. Take care. Thank you so much for joining me today. Remember, people will tell you what to think. Friends ask you what you think. So what do you think? Leave a comment down below, and while you're there, hit that like and subscribe button. Stay safe and take care.